Welcome to this LT Spice tutorial video. I'm going to show you how to create a schematic from scratch, just a very basic schematic with a, an RC filter. So the first thing we'll do is we'll open a new schematic. So this icon up here in the upper left corner to create a new schematic. And then everything that you're going to need for this tutorial is up in this upper um, toolbar area. So we're going to add a voltage source a resistor and a capacitor um, and then just just add some um, values to those so the first thing we'll do is we'll place the voltage source so we'll just click here for voltage source we'll put that down on our schematic I'm gonna hit escape to, to get back to this crossbar cursor I'm gonna add my resistor and so you're going to have the resistor in this vertical orientation. I'm going to rotate it. Um, one way you can rotate it is control R, which to me is the simplest. But if you also want to use the toolbar up here, you can use this rotate icon, click on that, and that will rotate it. So here we can add it. Escape. We can add a capacitor by clicking the capacitor icon up here at the top and place that down. Escape. And then I'm going to add grounds to my circuit. I'm going to, just for, for neatness, just for my preference, I like to put one um, on each side like this. And then to wire them all up, we're going to click on this wire icon here. And the nice thing about using the, the wire tool, so you see now we've got this um, cross that, that goes across the entire screen here. And I like the wiring um, in LT Spice because you can just go right through the components. So I will just go right through that voltage source. I will click here, and then I will go right through the resistor, click here, go right through the capacitor, and finish it up at the ground. And now everything's connected and it was smart enough to know um, how to connect everything up. I'm going to hit escape and now I'm back at the this little cross. And so um, something I like to do, which will make things easier as you start to simulate, is I like to label the nets that are important to me, um, you know, when I go to, to view the waveforms and probes. So just something to do um, while I'm thinking of it is I'm going to label these nets. So I'm going to call this one the input and this over here the output. So I'm just going to say in and put that over here. And then I'm going to call this one out. And I don't know if I if I pointed this out, but it was this icon right here, the, the net icon. Um, Lastly, I'm going to add some values to these components. So clicking on the R itself will bring up the um, where you would put the value. A couple other places you can click is you could click on the component name. So if you wanted to rename it, you could rename it here. Um, and then something else to point out while we're here is you could also click on the resistor itself. And that will bring up an option to add some, uh, you know, more advanced properties, but you can also select a resistor from the um, component library that we have. And so that will allow you to, to um, pick some um, components that are, that are sort of pre-modeled for you. Uh, you'll see it with the capacitor as well, and you'll even see... Um, you know, manufacturer models for some of these components. And so that's just another option. I'm just going to stick with sort of an ideal um, resistor here. I'm going to put 10K as my resistor value and 0.1 micro as my capacitor value. Um, I will get into the details in a, in a later tutorial, but um, LT Spice is uh, case insensitive. So it doesn't matter if you put lowercase or uppercase K here, it's gonna count that as a, a kilo ohm. Um, and then one thing to point out is um, there's a difference between if you want a milla something versus a mega something, and I will I will go into details and show this later, but just to point that out that there is um, there is a distinction between milla and meg 
that is very easy to get confused. So check back on the next tutorial for details on that. Um, I will show you, I'm not going to use an inductor, but but here's where if you wanted to place an inductor. And again, the inductor is going to have options for um, manufacturer models. So if I, you want to delete something, which I do, I want to delete this um, inductor, you can hit the, just the delete key on your keyboard and that'll bring up this scissor icon and you can remove it. Um, now that I've got everything placed, you know, one thing you could do is you could uh, zoom. You can use this zoom to fit icon and that'll get everything nice and big on your screen. Um, so the last thing I want to show you is how you could do all this with hotkeys. Um, so everything I did, I showed you how to use the icons. Um, all of these icons are also buried in the, um, the edit uh, drop down menu as well. But I'm just going to delete this whole thing and quickly demonstrate. So I'm going to bring up the scissors icon by hitting the delete key. And then I'm just going to drag over this whole thing and delete it. And I do just want to point out the hotkeys um, that you can use to create this as well. So um, I'm just going to type V for voltage. And that's going to bring up the voltage source. So I'm going to place that. And then I'm going to type R for resistor. And I'm going to do Control R to rotate it. I'm going to type C for capacitor. I'm going to type G for ground. And then the ground is still there, so I'm just going to keep it. Click again. Let's see W for wire. And then if you forget, if you've forgotten what the hotkeys are, which I'm going to double check the net one, you can always just hover on the icon up here. So net, you would type in. It's showing you there. So I'll label my in. And I will in label my out. And then I am not aware of a hotkey to go changing the value of my passives. So I will do that with my mouse. And then zoom to fit is space. And there we go. Um, next, in the next uh, video, I will review or I will I will show you how to simulate this um, with a transient simulation and then the following tutorial after that, I will show how to simulate an AC simulation.